Hey, what's up guys? Chris here, back in another video. So, let's get this video started off by saying, like, I think these things are amazing, GoPros. I think, I mean, for a certain type of person now, uh, obviously for your typical, you know, uh, action sports and stuff like that, your water skiing and all that stuff, these things are great for. But also, I believe that they are great for a YouTube camera. And what I mean by that is a vlogger. I know a lot of people don't like the vlogging, but if you're somebody who wants to do a travel vlog or something like that, the days of you buying a big DSLR or mirrorless camera and putting it on a Joby Gorilla Pod, putting your microphone on the top of it and doing the typical old style Casey Neistat type thing, those days are over. Um, there's so many cameras coming out right now that, you know, Sony's got the ZV-1, the ZV-E10 that's coming out. And, and I'm sure those are going to be a great cameras, but the stabilization isn't very good. The, uh, the lens ranges are not that great um, for those typ typical cameras. Um, they're just too narrow. Look at a GoPro here. You've got a beautiful wide angle lens. It's an excellent stabilization, better frame rates and video options in general than most of those cameras can give you. So if you're going to be somebody who's going to start out like a a vlogging channel where you're travel vlogging and stuff like that and hopefully you know in the next few months or years you know we'll be able to get back to our normal lives and travel again something like this smartphone and the gopro this is the iphone 12 pro max and gopro are really 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 great cameras because you can just take them with you wherever you go they have great excellent video quality so with this all being said this video today is about five things the gopro 10 needs in my opinion. Now, September 16th, 2020 is when this camera came out, right? So it was about a year ago. We're coming up on a year out from this. We're within a month away from the time frame that the new GoPro Hero 10 could come out. So the Hero 10, you know, this is the 10th iteration of this camera. It is, you know, the 10 is a special number in many cases. So I think that what you'll see here in this camera is something special. It, it kind of in my opinion, it kind of has to be. I think it's going to have to be a special camera. So let's get here, get into the five things. The first thing I think is six or eight K video at 30 frames per second. Now, GoPros traditionally are the leader of the pack when it comes to, you know, the resolution and frame rates uh, throughout their time and whenever you know they've always put whatever like the top of the line frame rates are in. So. In the last year, well, I guess it was prior to that, but the Canon R5 came out and the uh, Sony A1 came out. They both shoot 8K30. So I do think, I will not be surprised if you see a GoPro this year with 8K30 frames per second because, now granted, it's not going to be the quality that you get out of the A1. Please believe me on that. It's, you know, the A1 is a full-frame sensor. R6, R5 is a full-frame sensor. This is going to be a small sensor. Uh, so I think... You know, you've got Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has 8K and it's got a smaller sensor in it. So I won't be surprised to see 8K. And I also, and I really think it's going to have at least 6K, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but I won't be surprised to see the new GoPro Hero 10 have 8K. Um, that would be kind of cool. Number two is 4K at 120 frames per second. I think this is definitely going to be on the camera. Um, look at the Sony A7S Mark III. You still have 4K 60. And the 120 will be for any kind of like slow motion cinematic type stuff that you might want to do. Uh, but I think that you, you, you will see this in some sort of way. Um, obviously, this camera is probably going to have some sort of like, uh, being it so small, it's going to have a record limit on it most likely because something like this, a tiny little camera like this shooting in 8K, it's probably going to explode on you. Um, Number three is a one-inch sensor. Now, there is an action camera out there already, and I, the Insta360 ONE R has a one-inch sensor version of the camera, and I think that you're probably going to see um, one-inch sensors in the GoPros, if uh, hopefully in, in the 10 version. Uh, I think that you'll see a one-inch sensor. Maybe not everyone. We'll get into some other things I'm talking about here, but into the next two. Um, things that the GoPro 10 needs to have. But I think that what you'll see in the GoPro Hero 10 is a one-inch sensor because I believe that they are, obviously that Winston 360 already has it. Um, there is a, 
there's one cell phone out there already has it, and there's a lot of talk that the Samsung Galaxy S22 is going to have a one-inch sensor in there. So I think one-inch sensors are the future of these cameras. If the one-inch sensor goes into this camera, I believe that is probably why you saw a ZV-E10 this year. Because I think the days of one-inch sensors ca vlogging cameras is pretty much over with. And I think that you're going to see a one-inch sensor in this camera. I really, really, truly do. I think you'll see a one-inch camera. This is the Hero 9, by the way. Uh, I do think you'll see a one-inch sensor in this camera. Hopefully with the 10. Maybe maybe not with the 10. Maybe after the 10. But I, I do believe you'll see it in the 10. That's my thought. I think it probably should have the one-inch sensor in it. Uh, more versions. Number four is more versions. Uh, usually, you know, in the past, there's been this, the black and the silver... Uh, there's been a white, I think there was, a Hero 7 white uh, that was kind of, a, you know, really kind of broken down. One didn't really have a lot of features on it. So I think it would be better for GoPro to kind of come back with more versions because these things are selling good again, right? Uh, they're selling good again. I, they had like a, something like a 60 or 70% increase in sales last year because this is now a viable, like, vlogging camera, travel vlogging camera. It wasn't in the past because it didn't have the front face, flip facing screen on it. Um, and a lot of people didn't like that and you couldn't connect a microphone now it's fairly easy to connect a microphone and get this media mod I think this is kind of a must we'll get into that um, but you can connect a microphone to it get better audio out of it uh, you know HDMI you can live stream with this thing just through via USB type C it's quite versatile it's a very very versatile camera uh, nowadays but I think that I'd like to see more versions of it and then we'll, this is kind of leads me into the final thing Give me a version, you know, if it's the, I don't know what you want, Ultra, Black Ultra, whatever. Give me a version that already has a media mod built in. I have no issues paying for it all at once, if that makes sense. But give me all these features, you know, the shotgun microphone, the, um, sorry, the HDMI and the microphone input all inside of the thing. Because th here's the problem with this. This is an excellent product, but when I want to go take the footage off of it, this USB Type-C is only a charging port, so that's a big problem because it doesn't transfer data. So in order to get my data off, of the, off this thing, I've got to pull it all out of here. Oh. Pull it out, pull the SD card out, or plug it in via USB Type-C to your computer or whatever to be able to get the data off of it. That's kind of a pain in the ass. And not only that, if I need to change a battery, I've got to do the same thing. Give me something where this is kind of all built into it, you know, and, you know, I, I know, you know, this camera, I think I paid 350 for it, and then this thing's like 80 bucks. I have no problem paying 400 and something dollars for it. That's not an issue, and I believe that anybody who's buying this also has no problem buying the whole setup all, all, all in one piece. Like I said, it doesn't have to be all in the same, all in every single version. There could be a black version, a silver version, an ultra version, whatever you want to call it. I would just love to see all this stuff just, just give me just one piece. Maybe, you know, the battery's on this side or something like that, and I can take this camera, and I just lift up this thing, and here's the battery, and here's the SD card. Or, you know, you've got the USB Type-C that transfers data and charges at the same time. So I can just plug it into my laptop, transfer the data, and charge the thing at the same time. That would be amazing. Uh, but these are five things that I think the GoPro Hero 10 should have when it does arrive, and it may be within the next month um, or two. Um, they usually come out September, October time frame, so I'm looking forward to this camera. I have two of these. I've had the 8, I've had the 7, I've had the Hero 2018, and that was, but I, that's when I started buying these GoPros, um, but I think I'll just start keeping them now. I probably will buy two of them again, uh, just because I, I really like them. I also would like to see the same battery. Um, I understand a lot of people don't like the battery quality, but I'm tired of GoPro coming out with different batteries every year, and I have to go buy a whole bunch of new batteries. I've got like four or five batteries for this camera already. It'd be really badass if they just kind of came out with the same batteries so that I could just use the same batteries I've currently got. That'd be cool too. Anyways, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one later.